But all I wanted to do a quick video about this pretty plant. It's called passion line or uh, Passiflora uh, incense. Purple incense, I think. It's called. So, um, has these gorgeous flowers that appear in summertime here in zone 8B. I am in Texas. Uh, the vine, it's vine, so it needs support. If it doesn't get separate support, it will find it in your garden. This is what it looks like. It's currently September and it grew the entire season. It's normally bigger than this, but this season for some reason um, didn't get much bigger. It's a weird summer this time around. Yeah, there's a... You notice sometimes there are cats segregate around it and eat grass that might grow underneath it. Uh, that's a common phenomenon. Um, cats do not naturally grow on this vine, but it does attract them, or the grass does. I'm not quite sure. It will, like I said, there's tomato that they cohabitate with, but it will find support. It will find it kind of similar to this situation where it's just using other plants. And if that's fine with you, then that's what it will look like. It will look a little weedy, if I may call it. It is, it needs full sun, five plus hours a day of full sun. Otherwise it does not bloom and going to show what it looks like when it's given too much shade in a sec. So when it's not given the sunlight, it will look like this. It will never bloom and it will look kind of leggy. This grew whole season and has not gotten bigger nor has it bloomed. So I'm going to move this thing from here. It can grow in different kinds of soils. Mine is clay. I grow it, it it does just fine. I don't do anything to it as far as compost or anything like that. It does travel though. So initially I planted it in that flower bed where it is in the trellis. It traveled through all of these golden rods all the way up to here. And it's traveling slowly towards my neighbor's property. So it is like in this area right now. So you see where it was. And it's I see the offshoots kind of like over here in this area uh, so if you don't like I can't say it's aggressive though it's not it kind of like gently pops out you can dig it up or trim it and it's not gonna like go really nuts Wolf Loof, come here if you give it too much compost I would imagine it may uh, either bloom well or struggle to bloom one way or another but it seems to be thriving on not too much of crazy um, care so it's an easy going plant as far as the water i don't water it outside of natural rainfall here in texas in um, in the summer so it's pretty much suitable for their escaping i think the roots go pretty deep that's why it doesn't struggle every now and then i give it water if the leaves start kind of being looking droopy then i do give it water so the most exciting part of this plant is that it is a host plant to gold fertility butterflies which i don't have any right now Unfortunately, this season I haven't had a single egg, or I haven't even seen those butterflies. I think the summer has been pretty, I don't even know, favorable for them, so they don't migrate. I thought they were uh, not migratory, but perhaps they are. One thing that happens here, you see the ants, it does attract a little bit of ants. They don't eat the caterpillars, they just gather the little sap that the plant secretes. And uh, here is the pods that would bloom, and you might see like the ants on there, it's scrambling now. Well, together, I think it's a beautiful plant to grow and pretty easy going. And I don't know about other climates, but this climate in particular in Texas, I think it is a pretty vine that will work. If you have an area with a trellis where you can just let it be its beautiful self, I definitely let it go out of hand. It's everywhere. But if you got a place for it where you can plant it, let it acclimate and then just forget about it, totally recommend it. 